this is a few moments of faith. Today I want to remind you that you don't fit in for a reason. There's a reason you don't fit in. God cut you from a different grade. He set you apart. He made you unique for His special purpose. It's not a mistake. It's not an accident. If you've ever felt that you just don't fit in no matter what you try to do, it's not an accident. God did it on purpose. God did it on purpose. According to the Bible, Matthew 22, 14, it says, Many are called, few are chosen. And so God chooses people. You know, that's a whole sermon, but I'm just speaking in general. But God chooses people to fulfill His purpose in the church and in the world. God chooses people. And so in order to choose people, He has to set them apart and make them different and unique to a certain degree. He did that with Moses. It wasn't an accident the way Moses was born and his life and how he lived in a palace and then one day he was in the wilderness. It's not an accident. It's not an accident the way King David, he was the youngest and he was chosen king and he was different from his brothers. It's not an accident. It's not an accident the way the Apostle Paul life was. It's not an accident. God used all that. God knew that all the things that the Apostle Paul did when he was going around killing Christians and persecuting the church, God knew that one day he was going to turn that into his glory. He knew it. There are no accidents with God. You know, in my life, there's I, I have just never fit in. When I was a little girl from to now, as old as I am now, I have never fit in with the world. Even a, a lot of churches and congregations, I just never fit in. And so I quit trying to fit in. I quit trying and I just say, you know what, I am different because this is the way God made me for a purpose. And God has done the same thing with you. You don't have to fit in. Don't try to fit in. If, you don't, if there are certain things you just don't like doing, don't force it on yourself. Just focus on your relationship with God and ask Him to reveal what He wants you to do with your life for the kingdom. Just ask Him and He'll reveal it to you in due time. As long as you hang in there and keep being faithful. And, and those who are called and chosen, the chosen ones, somehow I can't explain it. It's like we always end up right back where God wants us to be. Even when we've strayed. I've stra There's times I've strayed away from God in my life more than once. And I'm, it's like I'm right back. Right back at square one <laughs> with God where He wants me. And I'm grateful. I can't explain it all. But I'm grateful that somehow, some way. God always put me back where He wants me to be. And I'm so grateful. And I've never fit in. And if you don't fit in, don't feel bad. Just just ask God to say, look, Lord, just surrender. Submit and surrender. And just ask God, you know, to use you for, for His glory, for your kingdom. And don't feel bad. Don't let people make you feel bad because you don't fit in. And don't make yourself feel bad. So I've never fit in, even with my family, church, school. Almost nowhere. It's not that I was a troublemaker. I just, it's like I either didn't like it, where I was, or the people didn't like me. And it's like, you know, I, I just, I can't even totally explain it. But if, if you're chosen by God, and, and you're a devout Christian, or you're trying to be a devout Christian, you'll find, God will find a way. You, you will be where God wants you to be. You will be. Where God wants you to be. I have a thing that I always thank God for fulfilling His good and perfect will for my life. I just thank Him. I don't try to figure it out all the time. But I know I'm different. I know I'm unique. And I'm cut from a different grade. And, and that's what a sanctified Christian is. A sanctified person. is a person that God sets apart for His special use. And there's a lot of people in the church. You know that they could be set apart for God's specific use. But for whatever reason between them and God they're not. But those of us who are, we know we are, and God will reveal it to us. And even Satan knows. And that's why a lot of times he attacks God's chosen ones. And we see other people just, it's like they're not going through what we're going through. And it's like, why is all this happening to me? And that's why. Because God has great plan for your life. Just like what happened to Moses and King David. They went through some, some unique experiences. But God had a great plan for their life. And Satan tried to stop it, but he couldn't. No one can stop God. They never have been and never will be able to. But anyway, I just want to remind you today, I just want to remind you that, that God set you apart for, for His special purpose. God, God set you apart. And so you don't have to fit in. 
And God doesn't want you to fit in, but it's for a reason. It's for a reason. I hope this has been a blessing to you. God bless you and keep you. See you later. Bye-bye.